It feels good, obviously, to be connected to a heritage that you feel like is important, that made a big impact. It's also pretty motivating to go forward and know that you have something to live up to and have some expectation of you. So to grow from events such as that um, over an 80-year period going forward, uh, we can only hope to get better and better. We were the first squadron to have an impact, first squadron to do uh, formation in ACC, first squadron to fly the Block 5 aircraft. And this list goes on and on of these firsts, and I think that's how best we in the 89th embody that innovation that the Doolittle Raiders had. One notable exercise was with the uh, Navy's carrier strike group, led by the uh, U.S. S. Nimitz, some of the aircraft carrier out there for uh, redeployment training. Now, unfortunately for us, the Navy would not allow us to attempt to take off the Kinaj from the aircraft carrier, despite us telling them that our squadron, the 89th, had previous experience. Again, I said it before, the dual array was an innovative and bold idea. However, it was accomplished by amazing individuals. We're just thankful uh, that we get to follow in the footsteps of those men. Uh, and we're thankful that we get to maybe exemplify the same level of courage and commitment to duty that they showed. And hopefully it makes us all better aviators and better better service members in general, and we're happy to be part of the same Marauder family that they were. So.